Hi right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so this was my uh, next build. There's the church on Mark 7. Um, with the added bonus of um, six figures as opposed to four with the farmer and the handcart. Uh, there's a, a commander and a World War II so a, a British infantryman as well. I would say World War II, they're all World War II. So the idea was to um, get this onto a diorama base that I constructed uh, about four or five years ago, maybe a bit longer than that. Um, I'll show you what I've got at this moment in time and explain why I'm not going to be able to do it on the base that I actually want to do it on. Okay, so the, here we are, here's the um, slight mock-up of the Churchill tank. There's no turret, etc. on there, it's just the lower hole and the upper hole partially constructed at the moment. No painting or weathering details, etc. on it. Um, I just needed to see what it would look like on uh, the diorama that I was uh, going to depict it on which just so happens to be here now when you look at this um diorama base you've got you've got this angled roadway area and pavement etc on the on the diorama now bearing in mind that i want to get the farmer handing the bottle of wine over to the uh, British tanker and the other two tankers in the turret, the commander and the um, British infantryman all on the same diorama. This suddenly becomes a very small and rather compact area. You'll you'll see for yourself with the overhead and when you put the tank on. So if you're we're going with tank in the roadway. We've got the pathway area behind there. No big issues. Figure would be facing off that way and the, with the farmer and the handcart would be down in this area here. But the two um, guys in the turret will be facing this way as opposed to the same side as, as the farmer. Not leaving much space down here for the commander and the British infantryman because you've got the little extra here on the front of the tank. That might thought for a okay. We pull it a little bit further up. Now we've got the tank hanging over the back of the diorama. Quite a good inch and a bit. Gives us space at the front. There's a little bit extra space here on the pathway. <clears throat> but again, unfortunately, you got that issue of um, the farmer and the other occupants in the tank. So the other, that's uh, the other would be to put it this way round. Gives us all the interaction with the farmer and the tankers and the other tankers looking over and the two up the front. Fine, but we still got overhang on the back. Um so looking at it, even though I love this diorama that I've built. I'm going to have to rethink that. So, what I decided, and if it'll work, it'll work. Let me just move this one out of the way. I have another mini art diorama which I also built many, many moons ago. This one used to have an SDKFZ251 
um, um Belgium Darmory motorbike etc so it's quite a busy diorama um some extra detail and stuff on the back but all of those bits that it was in a model shop and uh many light fingers damaged all the bits etc uh lost lots of the bits and pieces so i decided to pull it out and uh unfortunately i had to throw away all the Opponent soldiers and etc and etc. So this one has been sitting vacant for a while. Um, but I put the tank in. Got no overhang. Plenty of space for the farmer. I've got plenty of space at the front end for the commander and the British infantryman. So, this will be the new diorama base for this Churchill tank and what I want to do. Tell me what you think. Tell me if my explorations are, uh, are rational. I think I have more than enough space to cover what I want to do. Uh, I may need to add a few little more bits and pieces into the diorama to uh, express it. But yeah, you get the idea. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate all you guys have subscribed. Uh, thank you for all the comments on the previous videos. I really, really do appreciate them. Uh, all the likes as well. Um, <clears throat> I'll give you another update probably by the end of the week um, I'm not using the rubber tracks that come in the kit I've actually ordered a set of the 135th frill metal tracks for this kit um, one it puts a little bit more weight into the into the build and uh, I think they look better. I'll show you how some of that goes together as well in a later update. Anyway, again, thanks for watching. I appreciate all your comments. I appreciate your support. And I appreciate all my subscribers, new and old. See you in the next one. Bye for now.